Hi again, this is James at World War II Jeep and Rifle. Today I'm going to tackle the Jeep Lean problem on this 42 Willis MB. You can see the Jeep Lean is very distinct, leaning to the left, right side higher than the left, but the issue is not in the rear where the lean is most distinctive. The issue is with the front leaf spring. So we're going to change those out today. Here and here's my plan. Uh, first of all, here are the new leaf springs, freshly painted. And um, you can refer to technical manual 9-1803B, paragraph 6, for instructions. This frame has had some repairs and welding, so all the, the shackles are, aren't necessarily the same as, as uh, uh, stock. You can see this is a kind of a handcrafted shackle on a welded uh, mended frame and there are no torque reaction springs on my fr the front of this vehicle uh, paragraph 36 would cover torque reaction springs and removal of those as well so the plan here is uh, first of all I'll activate the emergency brake put it in gear chalk the rear wheels I'll remove the shock absorbers on the front, got the shock absorber here, remove that with the cutter pin in here. I'll uh, remove the four nuts on these U-bolts and the spring seat plates to remove those. I'll remove the rear shackle bolt. Better to see it here, right here. In some models, the sh there's a there's a true shackle bolt, and you have to be careful about the threading on those. Uh, you may have left-handed threads on the driver's side for the front, <clears throat> and right-handed threads for the passenger side on the front. So, I, I guess one step I I missed is uh, after I. After I uh, chalk it, chalk this thing up and make sure it won't roll, I need to jack up the frame. And I'm going to jack it up by the frame, right here on the front, to take the load off of the springs. You can see how bad this spring is in this, in this view. I'm going to take the load off of the springs so that there's the, uh, the weight of the vehicle it has neutralized the uh, forces on the spring. I don't want to jack it up too high so that <clears throat> the spring is is now being lifted by the frame. I'm going to find a neutral point where the tires are just touching the ground. At that point then I will begin removing the the nuts from the U-bolts and removing the the leaf springs. Okay let's see how uh, this this project goes. on.
the old saggy spring out. Here's the new one that I'll put in. Um, I'm going to beat these bushings out with a socket that's about the same size as the bushing so I can reuse them. But you can, you can see that this doesn't look stock. It looks like it's been repaired. They probably removed these shackles, took a broken leaf out, leaf number four from the top, put a big thick bar of steel in in its place, probably from a different vehicle, and uh, drilled it and shackled it back up. So we're going to take this weak one out, put in the brand new one, and hopefully correct the Jeep lane.